A woman that's going to do big things cannot be bothered by small things. It's like, that's a small thing. Am I going to let that ruin my day? You can start your day over at any single time. My name is Cameron Serrato and I suffered from uh, addiction as well as mental health, major depressive disorder. What made me feel depressed, I think evolved over time. At first it was being tall and insecure about that. Um, and then when I had, you know, an experience in college, it was, you know, bad breakup and then like losing my friends, but really like I had my own problems. Like I kind of separated myself from people. So it was a lot of like, what's the irrational beliefs. But it was like the constant buildup of my life. Things went well, went out of state for school and then just like crash. And then like, again, build up, got a really good job, started teaching. And then again, it was just like, this is my life. Like the black and white thinking of like, this is how it's always going to be. And just feeling shame and yeah, thinking that it's always going to be like this and I think I just keep coming back to shame, like shame and embarrassment and everything just felt like terrible, even though there was a lot to be grateful for looking back and it all needed to happen. But yeah, I'd be at work and I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to be done tonight. Like this is it. This is my last day. Like I'm done. I just wanted to like give up all the time. But so I was flooring my car on the shoulder of the highway and, um, Eventually I got in a huge car wreck and I hit another car and I was One huge detail that I can laugh about now is that there was one point where I took all of my clothes off and like it's funny now, but like it's scary and um, There's a huge intersection where I'm from in Ohio and like when I tell my friends this story They're like, oh, yeah, I know where that is and I hit another car and I was like I remember this whole thing like it was yesterday but I was running outside in the street, whatever. And I like was so like out of my mind that I like didn't even believe this was real. Like my brain was just telling me all sorts of things. Like never knew this was humanly possible. And then that's when I went to the hospital and was in the hospital for about a week and then came home and my dad was like, you're going to Florida. After completing Compassion Behavioral Health is abundant in so many ways i have some of the best friendships that i ever could have imagined i am very extremely comfortable in my own skin i have owned my story and completely shifted who i am i give myself everything that i need and that's not i'm not talking about materialistic but it's what I learned most is creating a life that I want to live and you know whether I need to break that down and reevaluate the things that I'm doing now it's my life is so much better you know if I'm I have a little argument with someone or something doesn't make it makes me feel off whatever I always like a big one that's like in the forefront of my mind is a woman that's gonna do big things cannot be bothered by small things act as if and I think that's like dialectical behavioral therapy where like holding two emotions at once. And I learned that here, <laughs> but like, okay, I'm sad or tired or whatever, but I'm also grateful. Like this sucks, but like, I want to become this and you can hold those two beliefs at once. And maybe you don't necessarily feel that way, but like there's underlying, like I'm grateful. There's, there's joy or a lesson in this even if it kind of sucks. Like the version of myself that I was mentioning, I'm not her anymore. I, now I'll be sitting in bed at night, not able to sleep because I'm so excited about the next day. I'm excited to wake up early and go to work and talk to people. And I also teach yoga and I would have been so scared and nervous to do that before, but I love it. I love connecting with people and going to the beach here in Florida. I'm from Ohio, so 
just like trying new things. And like before my goals were so small and which is okay, cause you know, anything is better than nothing. But my goals were small to just like make it through the day or like get done with all of these, get done with school. But now I have goals for like a better life for myself and you know, growing as a woman in recovery. And I'm just excited about life now. And I thought so one way that this is how my life's gonna be and it's, if I could speak to my younger self or to anyone else struggling, I'd say just hold on. You just wait, you have no idea. Like, I went to Italy last year. Like, I, when I was in my darkest place, I, I had no idea I was gonna be doing that. 